publishing company CPI, based in northern Germany, manufactures books for the whole of Europe. The ink dries on 900,000 every day. So what sort of books are they? You name it. Fiction, non-fiction. We were just printing tax tips before you came. Staff here have mixed feelings about the financial crisis. There's pressure on the market because of falling prices, but demand has also risen, at least for non-fiction. The head of sales welcomes the sudden interest in books about economics, like this analysis of the financial crisis. Which non-fiction titles are selling well right now? At the moment, anything about the financial crisis, what's changing, what's going on with banks, what did bankers do wrong, and so on, and advice manuals on how to cope with the fallout. So books that explore what went wrong in Germany's financial capital, Frankfurt, are flying off the shelves. This book was just named Best Economics Book of the Year. Everyone who's anyone in the world of business publishing is at the award ceremony. These days, they've all got a lot to be pleased about. Economics has never before been such a central issue as it is right now, and yes, we're enjoying the attention. And they want to make sure it lasts. There's currently no shortage of books on the roots of the global financial crisis. But now publishers are looking around for new angles. What has the potential to become the next bestseller? Well, what we're looking at now are books on what we've all learned from the crisis and what we and the politicians need to do next to avoid it ever happening again. We've got a few things in the pipeline, but we can't really say much more at this point. The trend with economics titles shows how economics ties in with central social and political issues, how economics is part of society. I think what will come next is what's called behavioral business, which basically turns everything we found out about economic science in the last few decades on its head, because we now know that people don't behave in a rational manner. They're much more instinctive in their behavior than we previously realized. At this bookstore in Hamburg, the staff agrees that what customers want to read these days are books about economics. Sales figures for this year have yet to be released, but business is doing well. I'm into all sorts of books, including stuff about the financial crisis. This customer is looking for a book to give to a friend as a gift. A member of staff asks him if he wants something about the financial crisis or something more entertaining. And he too wants a book about the financial crisis, seemingly confirming the trend. The store stocks 4,000 economics titles, and the staff is expecting this high to continue. The big topic this autumn will be job security. A few books on this subject have already been published, and there's a lot on offer, how to perform better at work and so on. Career advice manuals are doing well this autumn. And so too are those evergreens, books that give advice on how to save money.